My name is Sonia Vatra. I practice in Santa Monica, California. I'm a board certified dermatologist and also double board certified in micrographic dermatologic surgery. I founded Vatra Dermatology in 2007. So that is coming up on 15 years. Um, so pretty, pretty amazing how it's flown by. And uh, like I said, it's in Santa Monica, California. It's a full service dermatology office with medical, surgical, cosmetic dermatology. Uh, so really thrilled to be able to offer such a range of tools to help with skincare. Uh, I think when patients come in and see a board certified dermatologist, their level of expectation is, is obviously a little bit higher where they're expecting you to understand the devices that you're presenting really delve a little bit more into the physics, offer a little bit more tr advanced treatment options. So I think uh, compared to maybe someone who didn't spend advanced training in, in specifically the science of skin, uh, expectations of patients tend to be quite high, but our job is to try to live up to those expectations, so that's okay. So the, so the breakdown has steadily evolved over years uh, between medical dermatology and cosmetic dermatology. And interestingly, as, as I've been doing this longer and longer, I realized that there's a lot of crossover because things that you might classically consider uh, medical like acne now have cosmetic treatments, you know, like Aralays being a really great example of them. So, so there's a lot of uh, sort of double dips in, the, if, in those numbers, but in terms of the way the practice is split, I do, like I mentioned, I'm board certified also in skin cancer surgery. So I would say for my practice, it's almost an even 50-50 split because I, I you know, certainly consider the skin cancer surgery all medical and I spend two full days a week doing that. So, so that is, is a big component of the practice. So, so what motivated me to bring the Airlays Neo into the business is really just I was impressed by the technology. I mean, 36 FDA approved indications, long wavelength of light that's safe in darker skin tones. Like I mentioned, I practice in Southern California, so we see a lot of ethnic skin. We see tanned patients. And so the safety profile of that longer wavelength was really appealing to me, as was the very short pulse width, the 650, uh, mi I guess it's microsecond pulse width, which is um, a lot less heat dwelling in the skin. And also when I looked into it and I realized that they're really pretty nominal consumables. I mean, just the filter that needs to be changed out is, is very appealing compared to many of the other devices in the practice. And I also loved that you don't have to numb people. There's really minimal, if any, downtime for most of the indications. So, so it had a pretty wide range of appealing features. My initial interest was primarily, I would say, in, in acne and melasma, and especially in skin of color, uh, because really we had a fairly limited armamentarium for that, especially for some darker skin types with acne. Uh, even the devices we already offered in the practice weren't as safe. So that was my initial intrigue. But I think just like any device, once you get it in the practice and you start playing with it, we we really tested it out on a number of indications, even onychomycosis now. So, so that's been fun to, to play with it and sort of branch out. So, so I think in terms of issues that it's solved is it's an incredible rejuvenation device with almost zero downtime. And so for us, that really has hit a sweet spot. We do a lot of people who need to be camera ready and runway ready and um, or red carpet ready. And so I really have found it to be a very nice tool for that, for the rejuvenation. So we have some patients who are quite dedicated to it, who won't do a photo shoot now without calling me and asking if they can quit, slip in for the early. So that was kind of a nice surprise. I was not expecting it to be such a hit for rejuvenation. But I think, again, the fact that you don't numb people and they don't have downtime, that's that's been really satisfying. Um, and then I do think it's really in my practice finding a, a nice niche for melasma because we've sort of now integrated it into a, a protocol with orals and topicals and le regular laser treatments, and especially for some pretty stubborn cases in darker skin tones that, that we were really uh, a little bit challenged in treating, it's, it's found its, its special home.
So I think one way the Neo has impacted the business is that compared to some of the other devices we carry, there's a lot less time dedicated to the appointment because we don't have to numb people and it's really comfortable so we can go pretty quickly. And so in terms of efficiency, I think that has been a nice impressive feature in terms of, of the bottom line for running any business in terms of how long a room is in use, how many staff have to be dedicated to, to prepping a patient and wiping them off and you know all the things that that anybody who does a lot of laser treatments is kind of uh, factoring in in terms of, of how how efficiently they can use the device. So that's that's been really interesting. That's that's been a helpful aspect of it. And then, uh, like I mentioned, I think because it's pretty quick and pretty convenient, I've been pleasantly surprised by people asking to come in and do it to prep for an event or you know for a particular reason. They're not just on like a regular regimen. They're they're calling and saying, "Oh, I have some like a really important photo shoot tomorrow. Can I get in and and do a quick round of it?" So that's also obviously uh, very appealing. In terms of how the airlace has transformed patients' results and the overall practice success, is we always want to offer treatments that are really effective and efficient. And I think its strength on both of those fronts uh, just really supports the overall uh, reputation of the practice. And, and hopefully, as you alluded to earlier, people have very high expectations coming into a practice like this. And so it's nice to be able to have a device that helps us deliver and, and live up to those expectations. And in terms of how it's contributed to the success, I think it's it's like I mentioned, there are kind of two fronts. There's sort of the rejuvenation front where it's it's created its own little niche. And then in terms of a multifactorial or a multi-pronged approach to melasma, it's been a really satisfying tool. Um, I've also found it to be a very helpful adjunct for acne, which, especially in skin of color, we didn't have uh, a light-based solution that was really satisfying and really safe. And so I think that also has, has helped us round out the offerings and, and overall contribute to the excellence of care. So standard consultation with me booked as a formal cosmetic consult is where a patient comes in, we talk about what their goals are, uh, they tell me what they're, what's on their radar because I always want to address that and then I'll also look at them and tell them what I think I can enhance and improve upon. So, so it's always a, a, a more detailed conversation and physical assessment and exam of what's, what I can see. And then in terms of specifically addressing where the airways might fit in the regimen, if I think, especially in the context of a cosmetic consult, if I get a sense from a patient that they're very pain averse or um, they're at all nervous about being anesthetized with even like a numbing cream, then I know right away this is a really good device to present because it's it's going to be um, you know very acceptable from both a discomfort standpoint. It's not going to require anesthetic. It's not going to require prep time in that respect. So I think that's when I'll introduce that in the form of a cosmetic consult. And then it's really applications like when I'll present this is certainly for acne, certainly for melasma, certainly for minimally invasive rejuvenation that still sort of packs a punch. So if, if those questions or concerns are what a patient brings up in a cosmetic consult, I'll always bring this up and explain that it's a series of treatments, explain that we don't have to numb them, explain that it's, it's minimal downtime. And so I think those features are really appealing, especially here in LA and in Southern California. Well, in terms of whether to offer it on its own or in combination, it really depends what we're addressing. Like, I do think if someone's uh, considering this laser for part of like treatment of melasma or acne, I, I think it's very reasonable to incorporate it in a regimen and, and use it as one tool in the armamentarium because it really does enhance the results. And I think we get faster, better outcomes when we're really thinking thoughtfully about what's their skincare regimen, whether their treatments or pills or orals are we offering, how are we rounding this out? Um, so, so I think it, it depends on what we're using it for as to whether or not we're presenting other options alongside it. Well, I think especially when uh, patients have been frustrated by pigmentary issues for a long time, I think the reaction has been really satisfying when they actually see improvement because there's such a limited armamentarium of lasers really uh, for darker skin types that uh, are safe, but also deliver results that 
I think patients have been pleasantly surprised, like where they've been told that they're too dark to have a laser treatment or something like that. It's always really nice to be able to offer them this option and then have them be really pleased. In fact, our first, the patient we demoed, you probably remember when you came into my office, was oh, yeah. uh, is, is our front desk, um, you know, our longstanding, Tiffany has worked with me for, you know, coming up on 10 years at our front desk and she's black and she has acne and she really, even though we have so many devices in the practice has, has been fairly limited in the things we can do for her. And she was our demo. I, I think you remember this, right? Like when you came in and so it was really nice to see her the next day and have her feel fine and be really pleased and then watch her over a week and, you know, do another round. And so um, I think patients, uh, especially who've been frustrated because they feel like their their laser choices are pretty limited, have been really excited to have this as an option. I think the wow moment for me with the with the neo was with a patient with really challenging melasma, because it is a very tough to treat chronic condition. And we had been trying a few different things between chemical peels and topicals and orals, uh, a different picosecond uh, alexandrite laser that I have. So we had we tried quite a few things. And we had made her better, but we hadn't really made her feel comfortable going out without makeup. And we treated her with the Aralase twice. And uh, when she came in the third time, she hugged me and said, this is the first time I felt comfortable walking in your office without a full face of makeup. And you know, in her case, we did, of course, continue the topicals and the oral, and we had the full regimen. But we had been doing that all along. And this really was sort of the, the tipping point. This was the device that made the biggest difference. And so for me, that was definitely a wow moment that, that this is doing something that I haven't been able to offer before.